Good morning to all of you. May God bless your day and may the power of the Holy Spirit be right there where you are to give you the strength that you need and to give you the encouragement that you will need for this week so you may face your struggles and you may overcome all of them. And this is, like we said, something that comes from God. It's a gift from God. So we have this capacity to overcome all our strength. And that's what today, Monday, we will be praying for in all our UCKG branches at all the times, all our services, so you may receive that and have a blessed week. Because when we talk about overcoming financial issues and conquering uh, new goals in life, achieving new things in your life, we know that many are the obstacles that you will have to face not just the outside ones, but the inside ones as well. Sometimes negativity, sometimes the feeling of frustration tries to put you down, make you feel downcasted, and even trying to convince you to give up. However, if you have the strength that comes from above, I am 100% sure that you will not only not give up, but you will indeed achieve your goals. So if you are now feeling downcasted, feeling sad, feeling lost in life, feeling like there's nowhere to go, you don't know what to do, you are really, really feeling like giving up, don't do that. We have our helpline number available for you. You can use it right now a man of God, a pastor is available to talk to you, to pray for you as well. Okay, the name, the number is here on your screen. Meanwhile, let's watch a testimony because testimonies, they prove how faith works, how the power of God works in the life of those who seek Him. Are you beating yourself up? For having failed once again? Do you feel like no matter how many times you try, you always find yourself back at square one? We are here for you. Let us help you get out of this cycle. Give us a call now. In my past, I did feel invisible because there would be certain problems that I had on the inside that looking at me from the outside, you wouldn't know I was suffering on the inside. So I had a situation where I was molested when I was younger and that caused me to internalize everything I was going through. So I wouldn't want to ever cause a problem, cause a commotion. So I would keep everything on the inside. So I ended up being a little bit depressed depressed I would go through ups and downs and people would think why are you not like moving forward you have everything that it takes to move forward but as a young person growing up as a teenager I was I was a person I would drink a lot of alcohol I would drink with my friends would like binge would smoke weed would smoke and would be going out so as we're going out it's like okay you're having fun you're having an adventure but on the inside I was suffering there'll be times where I smoked weed and it felt like I was going to hell like I was literally going to hell and no one knew what was going on the inside. So I could laugh, I could joke, but on the inside I had a lot of pain and sometimes I did feel invisible. At this point, I came to Universal Church. I came feeling depressed, I came anxious, I came with a lot of pressure on my shoulders and I felt like this is the only way I'm gonna get help. So my aunt invited me. It was a struggle, but when I came, I was received in a way where I knew that God was there. I knew that he loved me because I was received with such care, with prayer, with encouragement to continue coming and to continue fighting. So. That's when I knew that God remembered me. My journey of faith towards the Holy Spirit was everything for everything that God had for me because I realized that, okay, I don't want to be empty anymore. I don't want to be a person who was affected by any little thing. So I gave my all. As soon as I heard and understood properly about who the Holy Spirit was, I was asking questions about, okay, how do I receive the Holy Spirit? What do I need to do to please Him? And during a campaign, I gave everything. I sacrificed for all that I had on my inside and I was able to receive the Holy Spirit. From the moment that God remembered me, I'm completely different. I understand that each day I have an opportunity to get better, to get closer to God, and I don't have to depend on myself anymore. So I'm renewed 
through God, through his strength, and my life is moving forward. I have a great job where I'm able to help many young people. My family is beginning to get closer, beginning to get stronger, and I really enjoy the woman that I'm becoming. Now that I've been remembered by God, I remember God in all that I do, because from when the time I'm at work, how I behave, how I'm with my family, how I am in the VYG, I have to remember God in everything. And this way I'm able to continue fighting, to continue improving, not getting downhearted, but understanding that God is with me. And if he's with me, I can overcome everything. Every time we bring a testimony to you, we want to help you to believe. That's the main point of being here every single morning with testimonies, with a word of faith. We want to help you to believe because you already have enough things surround you that tries to make you not believe. Isn't that right? You have enough things that every single day tries to convince you not to believe, not to believe in a better life, not to believe in yourself, not to believe in God, not to believe that you may have, like we said, a better life. But the Word of God teach us the opposite. That the Word of God encourage us to overcome. The Word of God encourage us, like you saw the testimony, to look forward and not backwards. Because every time you stay looking backward in your thoughts, you are always um, reminding your past mistakes and all that, well, you stay stuck, you, 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 you can't move forward. And faith teaches to look forward, front of us. The Lord Jesus once, he said this, or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, Will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? We spoke about this recently, and I want to insist in these verses, these teachings of the Lord Jesus, so you may understand that all the negative and bad things that you are going through in your life are not given by God. It was not God who gave you that problem. It wasn't God who uh, brought to your life that issue, that difficulty, that suffering. No, on the contrary, God is willing to help you to overcome all that. But you need to ask him, Instead of complaining, murmuring, and instead of saying, God does not exist, God does not listen to me, God does not help me, do what the Lord Jesus said. Believe in his teachings. He said so. It wasn't a man who said it. He, the Lord Jesus himself, said these words. I will repeat them. He said, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him. So you need to learn how to ask God good things. Do not complain to him about your life. Oh, my life is miserable. I, 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 I born to suffer. Put aside those kind of thoughts, those words, they do not help you absolutely nothing. In absolutely nothing. Instead of complaining, Ask God, say to him, what do you need? And today is, a, a, I would say, the right day for you to do that. We had already the 7 a.m. service. We will have the 10 a.m. service, then the 3 p.m. and later on the 7.30 p.m. service. In all our branches, Liverpool, Blacktown, Chatsu, Dandenong, Footscray, and Brisbane. You may go to our website and there you will find the address to all our locations so you can join us today in this faith and learn how to ask God the good things 
that you need for your life. Welcome to the UCKG Health Centre, where a new life awaits you. Accepting and encouraging all to join and head towards a life of fulfilment and peace. Every day we hold four services, focusing on different matters to attend to the needs of all the areas of your life. The times of our services are 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Monday, we focus on financial success, a faith-building meeting to offer support around financial issues and pathways to achieve personal goals. Our main headquarters is located at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. Times and addresses do vary according to the location of the UCKG. If you would like more information, please contact us by calling 9602-9837. And you can also contact us on our website, www.uckg.org.au. You can also send us an email at help at uckg.org.au. You can like our page on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel, UCKG Australia, to keep you updated with the latest news. Jesus Christ, my Lord, I see your light is shining on me, and your eyes over me come to confirm. out your hands over me and all my heart I'll give to you you are my Lord you are my Savior in my Stretch out your hands over me and all my heart I'll give to you. You are my Lord, you are my Savior. In my king. I hope that everything you have so seen and heard here in this morning in the program helped you to believe. Remember that we said that right at the beginning of the program, we are here every morning, every single day, because we want to help you to believe. You already have enough things around you to put you down and encourage you not to believe or discourage you to believe. And we come here to encourage you to believe, to use your faith. We are in this special journey of faith. We are in the fast of Daniel. If you are coming to the Universal Church, I'm sure that you've already heard about it and I hope that you are in this fast so it will helps you to improve in your spiritual life as also as uh, also also we are uh, um, every day posting a message regarding the fast of Daniel so you may 
know how to receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that will guide you. It's the Spirit of God Himself inside of you. So this journey of faith, I am sure it will bring the spiritual changing for your life and it will end on Easter day, Easter Sunday, 31 of March. And we, we also prepare ourselves for the special Good Friday. We will have the family prayer at the foot of the cross. And then Easter Sunday will be the day, remember me. God did not forget about you. He didn't forget about you. And if you feel that no one remembers you, well, I want to invite you to join us that Easter Sunday in one of our UCKG branches, the Remember Me Day. We will talk about it, more about it here in our programs. I want to leave here our address here for Liverpool, 153 Northumberland Street, 153 Northumberland Street, close to the Westfield Shopping Center. The doors of the church are open Monday to Monday, every single day. You can come anytime during the day, in the afternoon. The doors are open. There's always a man of God here to counsel you, to pray for you, to listen to you, to help you. Okay, so anytime, today, tomorrow, any day, the doors are open to receive you here. Okay, well, tomorrow I will be back with all of you with our morning blessing program. And of course, if you were together with us yesterday, Sunday, please keep using your faith through the blessed water that we consecrated yesterday, that bottle that you brought. Keep using your faith every single day. Drink from that water and ask God, Lord, I'm using this water, showing to you my faith because I believe in your words and I want to achieve the miracles that you promised to my life. Okay? Have a lovely day. May God bless all of you and see you tomorrow.